Set yourself up for the year with Melanie Ross from Natural Consulting. Today, we're continuing our discussions around time management, but today we're looking at how to prioritise. One of the challenges people have when they uh, feel overwhelmed or they feel like they're not getting through enough work is that they've just got this massive mountain of lists of things to do and they just plough away doing what they think is the most important thing at the time, but they don't stop and analyse to work out what their real priorities are. Now Stephen Covey popularised a model, I'm not sure that he actually initiated the model, but he certainly developed it, and it's called the Urgent Important Matrix, and I'll take you through that now, because this is a way to look at your activities that are coming in, or that you've got on your plate, and say, okay, well, what do I focus on? First thing is there are two axes. One is the urgency and one is the importance. It goes from low in the bottom left hand corner there to high out to the right or up to the top. So it's low importance, high importance, low urgency, high urgency. So the things that we tend to get busy on is the bottom right hand corner which is the interruptions. Things that pe we have to react to. People bring us an issue, we have to deal with it. Customer comes in, we have to deal with them. Phone rings, we have to deal with it. The email's here, we have to deal with it. We spend a lot of time in that third quadrant. We really need to be focused in the first quadrant and then the second quadrant. So it's in order of priority really, isn't it? <laughs> Which is good because it's a prioritisation system. So the things in the top right corner are things that are very urgent and very important. So they're um, things that you really need to do now. They would be things that are um, activity based in terms of their things that are important to the organisation, but there's a deadline attached to them, something like that. The other aspect on the second side there of um, important, things that are highly important but don't have a sense of urgency, are things that are longer range plans. They might be your projects, they might be your bigger goals, um, they might be things you intend to do over time that haven't really necessarily structured into your planning system. So things like, you know, um, someone said to me today, oh, look, I had a 12-month plan to increase my financial output and uh, I've got to the six-month point and I haven't achieved my goals. Well, probably because the activities around improving your financial position weren't treated as important and therefore didn't get as much time as just responding to the day-to-day -day activities. So a lot of the things that you really want to achieve over time that don't have that deadline factor are things that we tend to let slide very quickly and then all of a sudden we say, oh gosh, it didn't happen. So you really need to focus on that important section to do a little bit of that every day or at least every week to move towards the bigger projects, the bigger picture stuff that you're wanting to achieve. Otherwise you get to the end of the year and you think, oh, I didn't get any of that done because you didn't make it a priority in terms of your time planning. The other one that we need to talk about is category four, category four, which is down at the bottom. So there's things that are low urgency and not important. And they're often things you find you're doing when you're trying to avoid something else. Uh, all of a sudden you've got to you know, sharpen all the pencils in the office or uh, go out and get the washing done. Um, or there might be things that when you're feeling exhausted, you just want to zone out and chill out and veg out. So you just do easy stuff or you sit and watch a bit of TV or you play on Facebook, those sorts of things. So they're things that are easily able to distract you um, and you really just find that you fall into that category because you're tired, stressed or just not motivated or you don't know what to do. So you fall back, in. that's kind of our fallback position and it's the least productive position to be in. So have a think about the time you spend on activities. Look at yesterday for instance. How many of those things were distraction types of things, things that you just played with or you know, got involved in? How many were reactive things, things that were interruptions that other people brought in or occurred through emails or whatever else? How many of them were critical things that were important, were urgent and you got them done? And how many things, and I'll guarantee you in most cases there weren't many, that were important but not urgent so you didn't respond to them? Things that are urgent tend to get our attention, so we tend to focus on those, but only when the urgency arises. If it's not urgent, we tend to put it off, particularly if we're a procrastinator. So, focus on this schedule. When you get your work coming in, when you have your existing workload, just do a quick assessment. Is this really important? Is it really urgent? Where does it fall in the category? Okay, that's where I'm going to put it in the time. So if it's critical, do it now, it's got to be done. If it's an interruption, it's obviously urgent, but it's not your urgency, it's someone else's. Work out whether you can delegate it or just say, no, I can't do it right now. Or give them an alternative that they can follow to go and have the matter handled. If 
it's um, important but it's not got a timeline attached to it right now but you know it's got to get done, then schedule it in. Put it in your planning system so that you can start to work towards it even if you just do a little bit now and start moving in that direction. And then if you find yourself spending a lot of time on Facebook or surfing the web or doing emails or whatever it might be, start to find systems that you can put in place to stop yourself doing that. Turn your Facebook off, sign off until you know lunchtime or the end of the day. Um, schedule your emails so you have a block of time where you focus on your emails, do all your answers, maybe twice a day if you're in a very important role where you've got to fit in touch with people. Um, phone calls, same thing. If you've got to call people back, do a block period where you're, for one hour you're just making phone calls out. Particularly if you're doing a sales or anything and you don't normally do that, that's a really good way to get in the groove of talking to people from a sales perspective. So schedule your work according to the level of importance it has and the level of urgency it has and you'll find you'll get a lot more done than just plugging through a list. So that's been today's session on urgency and importance in terms of prioritising. Set yourself up for the year. Melanie Wass, naturalconsulting.com.au